What's up guys, Ken here with Service USA again. Today's video we're talking about building lockout strength for strongman, be it you know, log press, axle press, somewhat dumbbell press as well, but overall just building some really like, you know, strong lockout power. So once we've done our leg drive and we get the bar to here or here or here or wherever it may be, we can actually finish the movement and not miss the rep. So we're gonna go over three exercises. Um, one for specifically like triceps overhead, a second one which is going to be a bench orientated uh, lockout movement and then something specifically targeting a muscle called anconius which is actually the muscle that really finishes that lockout in your elbow. So I guess without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so like I said, the first movement we're going to go over is actually going to be a pin press, and this we're going to use a camber bar. Now, for me, in a lot of my career, I'd used, you know, done, you know, axle lockouts and all that sort of stuff, and it was actually my coach, Andrew Triana, uh, who put me onto these, and they're, they're awesome. I was going to swear, but you know what? We'll keep it PG. So, they're awesome. I think the big reason for it is that because of the actual weights down here and not all in line, it sort of just targets your upper back more and just hits things on a different plane. So the way I do it is I have the bar pretty much damn near on my head. Uh, I will say be careful with this. I have in the past slammed the bar into my head. Be careful. So the way I do it is I get in the bar and I actually set my feet where I want them and then I come under, get set tight and then press through. And then as I come down, because I don't want to hit my head, I drop and lean back. So in, really, really easy exercise, but it's very, very effective. The big reason I think it's effective is that as you get up there, you actually have a stability factor in there as well. So you're building some power, you're building stability, and then I like to actually hold my reps at the top as well. That way, I just have that little momentary pause, because in a contest, we're gonna be holding the reps. Uh, you could use these with some bands, you could use them with some chains. For me so far, it's all about straight weight. And I've also, um, the one thing I also do is I don't use a belt. I try and keep my support stuff to minimum. I mean, obviously elbow sleeves, I wear a neoprene belt just for warmth, but overall, no hard belt. That way I've got the core element in there as well so that when we put a belt on and we're actually lifting heavy in a contest or even heavy on these with a belt, then the, the, the core stability goes up through the roof. So that's number one. Okay, so like I said, exercise number two is going to be a bench press orientated movement, a horizontal press. For me, my choice is shoulder saver bar. Now, as you can see, this is a specialist bar. It is the shoulder saver bar from Elite FTS. It's all one spot, one or one unit. Um, and what this does is essentially emulates a two board press. You can buy this bar, I think it's like 40 bucks, or you can buy the, actually a pad which is exactly the same as this, just a, just a pad that goes on a regular barbell. The only difference is that obviously you've got a regular barbell size compared to this thicker bar. And the benefit of the thicker bar is that it actually takes a little bit of pressure off your elbows. So, into the actual movement. The reason I pick a shoulder saver bench is because I like that partial range of motion, but then I don't have to worry about somebody holding a board for me. Uh, a couple different grips we can use as well. We can use an, uh, uh, like a regular grip for me, that's gonna be middle finger on the ring, or we can come in and do you know different close grip variations. For me, the, 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 the normal close grip variation is gonna be uh, half a thumb from the, uh, from the smooth. And then that's what we've got there for the, for the grips. Now, the big one with this is that we can overload it. We can do, you know, heavy doubles, triples. We can do rep work for hypertrophy with this. All different uh, variations of the movement which is actually going to build into your, your, uh, your pressing power. Because overall, like, you know, while we are trying to build lockout strength, we also want to build muscle mass. Um, and that's one thing I think a lot of athletes don't actually take into account at times. Because if you've got the bigger muscle, the bigger muscle you've got, the uh, more power you can generate, the more strength you, you have, the more strength potential you have, and then when we actually come in and do strength work with you know, the triples, the fives, all that sort of stuff, that's when then you mature the strength. And that's where, for me, I love the shoulder saver. Okay, so for the third movement, we're gonna really focus on that elbow joint, and actually that last little portion, just this sort of motion, 
which is actually what a muscle, a very, very, very small muscle in your elbow uh, executes, and that's called anconius. Now, the reason we want to build a very, very strong anconius muscle is that well, you'll see a lot of guys who will bench and they'll get here, and that last little bit of lockout or overhead, same deal, it's slow and it's, it's, it's labored or vastly more labored than, than the other parts of the lockout. And if we can build that muscle, well, you know, you drive hard and then boom, you've got that nice, strong lockout. Uh, now for me, I use a couple different variations. I'm showing a tape press today uh, because if you've got some dumbbells, you can do tape press and that's, that's it. You, all you need is some dumbbells. The other one that I really like is a overhead single arm cable lockout okay, or cable extension. And what we're going to do with that, I use a rope attachment. I hold the rope here and then as I extend, I try and brace my, my upper arm with my, my, my free hand so that I'm not dropping down and, and cheating the motion. And you're not going to go very heavy, maybe 20, honestly 30 pounds, depending on your cable machine. And I'm bracing, and as I'm getting here, I'm really squeezing all around that elbow musculature. And that's going to build the anconius. So, same deal with the hex press, oh, not the hex press, sorry, tape press. So, we've got hex head dumbbells. Now, this, it's going to be the same uh, execution as if you've got round head dumbbells. Round head's a little bit harder because they don't link in together as, as well, but overall the execution is exactly the same. So we're going to take a pair of dumbbells, we're just coming up to the top, we're going to hold the dumbbells so that they touch each other, and then as we come down, we're basically going to interlace them. The hex head's a bit tricky at times, and then we're coming down here, and we're really controlling. We're really controlling the motion. So we get here, pause, strong lockout. And really, when we get up here, put one down, you can do, and you can do a single arm too. So when we get down, you pause here, you feel all the tension around your elbow, and then as you're up, you're locking and you're squeezing all this musculature all around here. Now, when we get here, you know, sets of 12, uh, I like to go a little lighter on these, but higher reps. So that when we get here, we can really lock hard, but, we're, but the key is to keep those dumbbells touching. We don't want to let the dumbbells not touch each other. And the reason for that is it's just a control thing. The more we can keep the dumbbells and we can actually drive hard and lock all our elbows out, you're going to really build that anconius. So there's my three favorite exercises for building like a lot of, a lot of um, overhead lockout power. Hopefully they help you a little bit. If you have any questions, like always, leave them down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you in next week's video. Thanks.